just thinking about all the different memories that I've had as a duck and you know no matter what I think these past four years have been an experience that is like no other so I just feel really blessed to have experienced that and you know not a lot of people get to get to live like that having so many people around that support you and it's just it's just very a uh, very huge honor and and it's sad that it's the end but it's also uh, a lot of great memories. <laughs> kind of. Um, I, it, it's just like I said a little bit surreal and when when we were just walking out for warm up the crowd was on their feet and I just feel so blessed to have this community around me like I said everyone is is, is just such a it, it, I was just enjoying the moment, you know. It's so nice that it was here, and uh, today I was trying to believe in storybook endings, but it, it, it life, that's life. It, you can script it all you want, but it, it, it doesn't always work out the way that, that you'd like it to, but I, I know that God has a plan, and um, I'll continue to go out there and give it a lot of heart every time I race, and I'll, I'll race at Hayward again, just not in this uniform, so it's 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 hard but I just there's so many people around me and um, it, it's just really really special so I'm trying to savor every what, what stands out to you about your career at Oregon? Just everything. I never I never think about winning or championships or we've won a lot of team titles together and that's always very exciting but it's just all about putting in the hard work every single day and having people around me that support me and I've had a, a lot of ups and downs throughout my career but I wouldn't change a thing because those are what what make everything so exciting and make it make really it, 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 it a good experience so it's I I'm just very thankful for everything. At today's race is that where you've wanted to try to take the lead with 400 or? Uh yeah I you know I was just really when we got to 800 to go I was really excited I was feeling really good and I was planning between 600 and 400 to make a move and with 600 to go. I was thinking about going then, and then I didn't, and then I was thinking about waiting until 200 to go, but uh, I, I thought that my, my theme when I was reflecting on the race this week was that you'll always have another gear, and I really trusted that. I trusted that the crowd was going to give me another gear, and it, it, in this case, I guess the other gear was helping me hold it together and not, I mean, Betsy passed me, but I, after, uh, I didn't give up when Abby passed me on the back stretch, but with 200 to go, then I had to kind of be like, okay, um, just get as many points as you can, because the team is obviously the most important thing for me, and, um, you know, I think that my professional career is going to go really well, because I of the things I practice, and it's important to practice that, having a lot of heart every time you race, and one day the heart and the fitness will be there. I knew that if it, I was to win today, it would have been a huge upset, and um, I knew that the crowd would be behind me, but I guess, you know, I still have a little bit to go before I can be at Abby and, and Betsy's level, but I think that this race and this year really show that I'm right there, and um, I, I really am believing that I'm going to get there really soon. Do you feel the wind when you hit the back straight there? A little bit. Um, you know, my parents were sitting at 300 to go and I heard them, so that I was more focusing on that than the wind, I guess. But, um, you know, like when she went by me, she's just, she, she's a very good athlete and uh, just really good, uh, good fitness. I mean, she's probably going to win USA as well. Um, so it, I, I really respect her and when I do workouts out here I try to be like her so it's interesting that you know I pretend that I, I'm really like her so it's it's like a, a kind of that balance there but um, I think that I need a couple more years to be at that level in these distances but that was honestly we were running pretty slow but it was 
the goal was to run the best 5K that I've ever run, I think that was the best one. You've run a lot of distances during your early career. As you look forward into the future, what do you think is going to emerge as your best distance? Um, probably the 10K, you know, not making the 10K final here gave me a lot of motivation for this race. I wanted to be out there so bad for the 10K, and even on the warm-up I was saying, I wish this was a 10K, and my coach was like, said no one ever, you know, like, I'm probably the only one that was wishing it was a 10K, but it, the 10K, I just love it, and it's, it's honestly helped me a lot for this race. When we got to eight laps to go, that's when, in a 10K, that's when I tell myself, now we start racing, so um, I was just like, waiting, waiting, waiting. I knew like Abby was going to take it at some point. We've been practicing that in practice, you know, the squeeze, and um, she went later than I thought, and um, yeah. and then with two laps to go, I just got really excited because I was like, wow, I'm still here. This is great, and um, like I said, with 600 to go, I was like, I can go now, and, um, but then I waited a little bit and made a big move and thought, I'd have another gear, but I just didn't have another gear. Congratulations, Kim. Thank you. When you took that lead, did you think, you talked about the storybook ending, did you think that you were going to do it? Like, I mean, what was that like to have the lead at Hayward Field as a senior? I absolutely thought that I, I was going to do it. I think that everyone going into this race thinks that they have a shot at, at winning. And um, I, I told myself this week I want to get the crowd really loud. I want to get them into it. And I think, if anything, one of the things throughout my career is that um, I'm always in the thick of it and always making it a race and I think everyone will be talking about that move and unfortunately my, my fitness just isn't there to like, stay with them for the last lap but I have no doubt that we'll get there and I have no doubt that we'll be in another race when it'll be the same players probably and hopefully I'll have it then it would have been nice because all the everything going on around around this race to have it today but, but that's okay it's just the beginning I know you guys have probably been focused on the 5,000 here but did you think back like to figure out what happened with the 10k in Austin it was just the heat um, we're we're from Oregon it's well it's actually pretty warm today but it was a bit just really humid and um, you know I was hydrated well but I guess that that just happens you know we talked to a lot of other coaches and different people and they just said that um, it, it just can suddenly hit you and then you, you get really tired but I just really uh, had a lot of my coaches and friends to help me bounce back and I drank a lot of water <laughs> Pedialyte water the next day but certainly gave me a lot of motivation for the race today I I wanted to run the 10k and it, all those girls that were out there on Wednesday I, they were very lucky to be out there and I was thinking about how much I wanted to be out there so today I was like you know this is what you want to do you're you should be thankful to be out here so just enjoying every moment with, with the 80 degree temps did any of the doubt cook thinking back to Austin come in at the start line before the start or uh, I was a little bit it's a little bit cooler today when I woke up this morning, I was thankful. Yesterday it was really warm, so I was a little bit nervous. But um, this, we're used to this heat. It's a lot. Austin is just so thick. I mean, when we got back here, we got off the plane. It was like we can breathe this air. So um, it, it's just hard. But now I start heat training all this week. You know, I raced a 10k in um, I think 10 days. So um, I'm excited for that and excited to get back to the 10k. And the good thing about not doubling it this week. Is that uh, I'll be really fresh and hopefully try to make that team. All right, Jordan, who is helping you finish running? I think it would be good on the down Oh, Lexi Pathis. Alexi Pathis. And um, she's from Dartmouth. She was a fifth year senior this year. And yes, she's just been a, a great teammate, best friend. Uh, it's amazing how much I've connected with her. I, I've never connected with another person so much ever and it's just made this year so much so so many great memories so special and she's just a, a great person great athlete and you can catch her tomorrow at Portland Track Festival she'll be running the steeple trying to go for that A standard and she's she's really fit too she's done all our all our workouts together so it's great you obviously give it all can you tell a little bit about after you drop down you just like can you describe just the exhaustion or what 
goes through your mind when you're just like, just like yeah. you're finished? Yeah, the last lap I was just thinking, you know, give it your all, give it your all, and I was, you know, I as soon as I crossed the line, I was like, I can't be upset because that's what I did, and mm -hmm. uh, I think I I gave it a lot of heart, but just I need just a little more time to uh, to be there and have that finishing gear. And, you know, everyone always talks about how I, I don't have my finish, but I think that it's going to come, and I'm just excited. For, for the future and for moving to the longer distances. Okay. okay.